Hello and welcome to Spotlight, the program where we shine a beam on a company or product. And today we've got a real treat in store. French manufacturer of fighter jets and business jets, Dassault Aviation, has always been pushing the envelope when it comes to technology development as the company applies lessons learned in its military aircraft through to its executive jets. Well, the latest in its family of Falcon aircraft, the Falcon 6X, is certainly keeping up with that tradition. With its maiden flight last month, the first 6X is currently underway on a program of flight tests. And to tell us all about this aircraft is Dassault's International Sales Director, Renault Cloat. Renault, it looks fantastic. Well, actually, it does not only uh, look fantastic, it's really fantastic. And as you said, Alan, we are testing it. Uh, we've, we've done um, intensive flights. As you remember, the first one was uh, more than two and a half hours. Uh, the aircraft is behaving very, very well, and we are very happy with the, uh, with the aircraft uh, performance. Um, and remember, this this is a this is a really a game changer in our industry. I mean, we talk about an aircraft that has the widest uh, and tallest cross section of, of the whole industry, offering uh, an amazing comfort, and at the same time, uh, an aircraft that is capable to fly uh, with a 5,500 nautical miles of range. So that's a 11 hours. Really, something that people want. And and talking about uh my region the uh, the middle east you know i think it's 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 really um an aircraft that ticks all the boxes in terms of expectation from the market so let's talk about the middle east the falcon 7x has proved very popular in saudi arabia do you see the 6x as being a kind of successor there or do you see yourself attracting different customers um, I think we uh, the, the 6x because of its new offer of comfort will bring many new customers and, and also many new concept buyers. I mean, not only uh, Dassault clients, but also people who have just in mind the fact that they want to they, they they want to travel with privacy, with safety, and and as you know, with this world changing, um, people will be will be more inclined to discover general aviation also for, for people who are not really our clients now. I guess that range of 5,500 miles works very well for traditional missions from the Gulf. Yeah, absolutely. We wanted, we, we, we wanted to make uh, absolutely no trade on performance uh, for the size of the aircraft and, and, and the uh, this ultra wide, I mean, that's again, the widest uh, and, and highest cabin in this in the industry gives a lot of comfort. This comfort uh, means that you can, you know, travel for these 11 hours range uh, with arriving fresh and to your destination. But uh, I mean, it's and it's just like a one stop uh, from the, the rest of the world. I mean, you can go you can go, of course, uh, easily anywhere. But the, the, the point is really for us, when you look at, at Dubai or, or Riyadh and Jeddah, is that you cover all Europe, all Asia, all Africa, um, nonstop. While being, this being said, the, the, the point of the, the, the 6X is also to go as a Falcon uh, to the small airport, uh, being able to have amazing performance we talk about 109 for the uh, the VRF speed. I mean, it's going to be very very slow. We talk about uh, 755 meters for the for the runway distance on, on on landing. I mean, so that's that's a very big aircraft, but that's an aircraft that takes you anywhere and to your destination. Now, you said earlier that following the pandemic, we would see new customers being introduced to business aircraft. Do you think that's going to happen? You know, I think that, of course, we've been, we've all been into these challenging uh, times, and I, I, my first thoughts are for people who suffered from this, uh, from from this epidemic. I mean, this has been tough for everybody. Now, uh, it gives uh, a new vision of, of of aviation, a new vision of transport. Uh, people have to to think now of certainly being more efficient. Uh, you know, in a way, uh, if you 
if you have the means for that, you can, you can, and if you can avoid to to go through the airport, the large airports, if you can avoid to wait in, in lines with with others, I mean that's 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 safety that comes that comes in mind first now. So, um, you know, maybe my my vision is that maybe maybe people will travel uh, more efficiently. Maybe they'll travel less, but I mean talking about efficiency, which is something we cherish in, in that. So, you know, not only for fuel burn or aerodynamics, but being efficient is, is, is something very important. I think in, in the whole aviation industry, that's, that's, the, that's our core business, let's say. Uh, so if you transfer that to, to travel, uh, then you have people thinking of, I'm going to go in a two day trip or a one day trip make three meetings for example uh directly going to the, the 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 small airports very close to the city that i'm that i'm going to and have my meetings then just after that i have to be back to my aircraft and and, and fly out so this is the kind of uh flexibility that that we that we offer now why is it tough to to imagine what will be the the, the future on that is of course because we're still in these challenging times, but uh, we bring a new offer. So I believe the market will be uh, reacting well to this new offer, but uh, we have to we have to see what it will what it will be and how how people will will take it. I know when you look at the cabin options, it's quite understandable why you say it's a game changer. There's so much light and space. But also, the digital design has allowed you to test all of the scenarios for the handling and the behaviors of the aircraft. So I guess there's no surprises. So we, we use this experience, of course. We use our experience in aerodynamics development because the, C, the, the 7X was also the first aircraft to, be, to make its first flight digitally. And we, uh, we actually, when we made the real flight, we, we, uh, we knew exactly what would, what would be the, the, the behavior of the aircraft. Uh, so this optimization is is in any screw and bolt of the design of a Falcon, and the the 6X uh, is is in this in this, the same the same breed. It's 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 an aircraft that has um, these benefits from from all the development that we have made before, and it's an aircraft that uh, we design according to the problem solving that we've done before. So we, it's it's maturity. Uh, when you look at the, or for example, the flight control system, which is digital flight control system, this is something we brought on the civil aircraft because we had that on defense aircraft and on the Rafale, uh, but 20 years before. So if you look at, at fly-by-wire control system, not only digital fly-by-wire control system, but this is something we developed on the, on the Mirage 2000. So we were back in the 70s. Now imagine the the all the value that we have with that with all this experience, and this is what we deliver to our clients. So I'm I'm very very confident on the fact that the aircraft is purely mature and, and will bring will bring only satisfaction even at an entry into service of, to, to to our clients. So the big question, Rano, when do you think the six X will be entering service? Twenty two. Well, that's something to look forward to next year. Renault Kreitzer from Dasso. Thank you for showing us that 6X. And don't forget to keep watching the program because I think you're going to hear some exciting news coming out from Dassault about new Falcons within the next few weeks.